Welcome to the Barton Wilmore Bristol International Balloon Fiesta 2013, supported by Heart. Well, hello everybody. My name is George Bacon, and I've been uh, commentating along with John Ford here at the 35th Bristol International Balloon Fiesta. And it's been a wonderful four days. We've had some really, really successful balloon launches with one world record breaking landing of 74 balloons at the old Cadbury's factory field, which was absolutely fantastic in not only achieving that number, but also raising £740 towards Help for Heroes. One of many charities that we've been supporting, the headline charity, of course, Bristol Samaritan. Uh, represented very much by Maggie Cameron herself here and uh, they too have been very very pleased with the support they've been given all the sponsors have been involved the committee a huge number have been involved in putting this entire event together and it's been really quite spectacular but all sorts of additions above the ordinary not just the balloons they are of course the centerpiece but we've had jets we've had wing walkers the barnstorming era was just absolutely fabulous but uh, Jamie Norris in his typhoon jet really stole the thunder and it really was thunder and lightning. The massive noise really broke up the clouds and uh, got us off to a spectacular Saturday and Sunday afternoon. The night glows, of course, will be heavily featured. They too also spectacularly choreographed by Ian Martin along with Heart FN. Absolutely outstanding vision and really truly terrific uh, sound as well. Uh, and indeed the parachutists, the exit parachute team entertaining people twice a day here. But one of the real stars, it's unusual, not in a balloon, nothing to do with a balloon at all, a young lad called Harry, just 11 years old, flying the most spectacular model helicopter, doing things that helicopters are just not designed to do, and doing them in a remarkable and exceptional manner, inside out, upside down, and uh, just doing death-defying things just at the age of 11. And I tell you, he is a very, very talented boy, and will go on to do some really, really successful things, I think, in his time. Alongside him, Lee McCrory will be featured with his other model aircraft from the Seven Bridge uh, Aero Modelling Society. Uh, you may also see some clips from Parabatics, uh, led by uh, Pascal Campbell-Jones. Uh, sadly, the wind was a little too frisky on uh, one or two of the days, so we weren't able to see the really full display that they were given. But nonetheless, I think there's real potential uh, for the future in that. Behind me, you'll see the Cameron Balloons uh, uh, marquee that's been set up. And behind that is the central marquee where all the balloonists meet every morning morning at quarter to six and every evening at the same time to discuss the weather and their opportunities and abilities to get away. The biggest launch so far this weekend has been 106 balloons, which is absolutely fantastic, filling the skies. The number of people that are tweeting and Facebooking are record numbers, and we're really all delighted. The press coverage has been fantastic. The Financial Times tablet featuring all over the place, but we've had BT and, of course, the biggest favourite on the balloon front with all the children was of course Stuart, Minion, part of that uh, new family from Despicable Me Too and a real real favourite with those wonderful flappy hands uh, just uh, really captures Every, all our imaginations. It's been a really terrific weekend. Uh, the spectacular moments, the red arrows in particular, were just fabulous and a truly fabulous weekend. 